Are you a physics lover who enjoys having your mind fly around physics topics? If yes, this video is exactly what you were looking for. Welcome. Have you ever thought why mass could convert to energy according to famous Einstein formula E equals mc squared if electric charge could do the same? Don't forget that electric charge is a fundamental property of matter, just like the mass. By the way, this is a question that appeared in my mind more than three decades ago when I was a high school student and heard about E equals mc squared for the first time, but I never asked it from anyone or shared it anywhere on social media since then. You may want to start your thinking journey from an equation similar to E equals mc squared, something like E equals qc squared. You'll immediately find out that this equation could not be correct just because the units on both sides are not the same. The left side has as its unit kilogram meter squared per second squared, while the right side has amp meter squared per second. You may multiply k to the right, a constant, with the unit kilogram per amp second. And if electric charge could convert to energy, why have we never seen some loss of electric charge or some extra energy in practical measurements yet? I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's because of the very small amount of energy released, contrary to what happens when mass converts to energy. Maybe it happens under very rare conditions. Or maybe it's because of uncertainties in measuring electric charge. Okay, enjoy thinking about this and if one day you make a research or can prove it and win the Nobel Prize, don't forget to share it with me.